There have not been any reports of injuries as a result of the storm, but there were obviously some close calls. This SUV balanced precariously on what is left of a bridge on Route 135 in Monroe. All around the North Country, there has been damage to roads making for slow going, if you could get there at all. The whole water was up over the road. It was just, uh, I, I couldn't get into my driveway. So I tried to pull up to the side and ended up in the ditch. Up the road, a little further on 135 in Dalton, long stretches of the road had their sides eaten away by the rushing waters. And then there is what is left of a bridge. The sinkhole started and it looked like a giant toilet bowl and then it flushed itself. It's crazy, it's crazy here, it's crazy off the roads all washed out. It's amazing how much the water's like just taken out the, the area. My in-laws road is now gone. They were able to get out another way, but for those traveling in the North Country, be prepared for a lot of detours and limited choices. There's only one way to get out of town from here and that's to go over the Gilman Bridge and take a left onto Route 2 and follow that until you hit um, the, the intersection. We have seen a lot of DOT crews crisscrossing the area. I asked some of them how long the repairs were going to take, and they said it's too soon to say they're still assessing the situation. And Ray, clearly a tricky situation there. Crews have been called in from all over the state to help out. Yeah, that's correct, Gene. We've seen them coming from all over. We also talked to some uh, first responders about their concerns. The fire chief in Littleton says some of the roads have been so badly damaged, they're having to cover parts of Dalton for the Dalton Fire Department, and I'm sure not, they're not the only town that's doing that.